basic Cisco router configuration. In the last video, I talked about the concept of the router. Today, in this video, I want to show you the basic configuration of the router. First, you should connect to your router with Telnet, SSH, or through the console cable. As you see, now I am in the packet tracer and I want to configure this router via console cable. After you prepare your computer, console cable and router, double click on the PC and choose desktop, terminal and then OK. See, the first thing you encounter is would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog? If you like dialog configuration, type yes, otherwise type no. This is the user mode and the first level of access in the Cisco router. In this mode you cannot configure the device, the access is so limited just for troubleshooting using some comments. Go to the next mode and type enable. This is the enable mode and also using for troubleshooting the router. Like press shift key and question mark. Look at these comments. You can start with these comments in this mode or enable mode. Next, enter global configuration mode with this comment. Configure terminal. This is the global config mode. In this mode, you have full access in the router. You can change any setting in the router and modify all the configuration. Let's do some basic configuration on this router. First, it specifies the name of the router. In the global config mode, type hostname, for example, R1 or router1. See, the router name is changed. And next, it specifies an encrypted password to prevent unauthorized access to the router. See, there is no password and we should set the encrypted password when someone wants to access to the router. Go to the global config mode and type enable secret. For example, the password is Cisco and then enter. Okay, it's done. And next, disables the router from translating unfamiliar words into IP addresses. In the global configuration mode, type no IP domain lookup. Next, enters the configuration mode for a gigabit Ethernet one interface on the router. First, we should check the router interfaces. In the enable mode type, show IP interface brief. See, there are the router interfaces. Now, choose the correct interface and set the IP address. In the global config mode type, interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. And see, this is the interface mode. Set the IP address now and subnet mask for the specified gigabit Ethernet interface. In the interface mode type, IP address 192.168.1.100 and the subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Now, enables the Ethernet interface, changing its state from administratively down to administratively up. In the interface mode, type no shutdown. After that, exit configuration mode for Gigabit Ethernet interface and returns to the global configuration mode, type in the interface mode exit. Next, enters line configuration mode and specifies the type of line. This example specifies a console terminal for access. In the global config mode type line console 0 
and then it specifies a unique password for the console terminal line. For example, type password 1234 and then enable password checking at terminal station login. Let's check it. XA, XA. See, you should type the correct console password, which is right now set to 1, 2, 3, 4. After you type it, and also type the enable password, which is Cisco. Next, set the interval that the exact command interpreter waits until user input is detected. The default is 10 minutes, optionally add seconds to the interval value. This example show a timeout of 3 minutes and 20 seconds. Entering a timeout of 0, 0 specifies never to timeout. Or to prevent this problem, set the exact timeout 0 and 0. This version of Packet Tracer doesn't support this command. Next, specify a virtual terminal for remote console access. In the global config mode type, line VTY0 up to 4, enter, and now specify a unique password for the virtual terminal line. Type password, for example, set a password SA12, enter and then enables password checking at the virtual terminal session login type login enter exits line configuration mode and returns to the privilege exact mode type in now save your configuration in the enable mode type copy running config to startup config or type wr and now, I want to show you the running config in the enable mode type show running config. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe my channel.